If you got one of these 1099s and you're wondering what the heck is it, how does it get taxed, and how do we report this thing on our tax return, this video is for you. And also be sure to stick around to the end of the video so I can let you know how to get it done through TurboTax. All right, so what the heck is this thing? This is a 1099 from the state of California that you received based on what they call the middle class tax refund. You should have got this sometime from October to the end of the year. Now this thing came as either a debit card in the mail or it was a direct deposit into your bank account. Do we need to pay taxes on this 1099? That's a maybe, but what you need to do is report it on your tax return. Now, one thing we are clear about is this amount that you got reported on this 1099 is not taxable by the state of California. As you can see here on their website, you'll see down here, right? This middle-class tax refund is not taxable for state income tax purposes. Now we are not clear if this is taxable with the feds or not, and that's why this 1099 was issued. We are still waiting for guidance from the IRS to get a clear picture of this. Now there is something called the general welfare exclusion that a lot of tax professionals are kind of turning to to say that this thing may not be taxable with the feds. As you can see here, to qualify for the general welf welfare exclusion, the payment has to be made from a governmental fund, which this is, this, uh, this middle-class tax refund is. It has to be uh, for the promotion of the general welfare that is based on individual or family need. This is the gray area and not represent compensation for services, which definitely this is. Now, the law that issued this payment from California, AB 192, Section 10, actually does say these payments are to provide financial relief resulting from the COVID pandemic. That is generally what we can, as tax professionals, use to justify this that this qualifies for the general welfare exclusion. Obviously, you will need to talk to your tax professional and come up with a determination if you think this qualifies for the general welfare exclusion or not. All right, so what does all this mean? It basically means you can get this excluded from income and non-taxable with the Fed and the state. All right, so what is this supposed to look like in terms of on the tax return? You will need to get the 1099 here on a Schedule One other income. So it's gonna be down here, line, what is that? 8Z, you'll list the other income from the form 1099, right? California Franchise Tax Board or the middle, cl middle uh, class tax refund, whatever the amount is shown on the 1099 will need to be here. Now, if you decide to use the general welfare exclusion, you would put it here now on the adjustments to income, still schedule one, but down line 24Z, and you would list that general welfare exclusion to remove that amount out of income, essentially. And for California purposes on this schedule CA, we would go down here and 8Z will have it as income and then 750 over here we would have as a subtraction and you'll see on the attachment we would include that this subtraction is for the middle class tax refund. My software also generated this California other income statement here and you'll see down here, right, that there is a line 28 on this form for that. All right, so how do we report this 1099 miscellaneous from California, that middle class tax refund into TurboTax? All right, you'll need to go into the wages and income here. You'll need to scroll down. I clicked on the expand button, click on the other Common income, show more, the 1099 miscellaneous. I'm gonna revisit since I've done this. Yes, we got one of these. You'll have to fill this out with the information from the 1099, right? You got it from the state of California. The EIN number listed there, the payers TIN is what you'll see here on the 1099 right here. And the amount on that box three that you received from the middle class tax refund. Describe the reason I would put middle class tax refund. And you'll see here, does one of these uncommon situations apply? You're gonna check that box. This was the middle class tax refund. Did you have another? I'm gonna say no for this purpose. And voila. All right, so I did just verify. I went, went ahead and printed the return from TurboTax to see essentially how TurboTax is classifying and taxing this payment by doing those following steps that I just showed. And by doing that, this will not be taxable with the feds and the state. At least that's TurboTax's position. 
I would have to agree. If you found this video helpful, please help me out and hit that like button, share it with someone that you think could use this information and or subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much, guys.